animals you'll be happy are extinct. Hey everyone, it's Alexa again, here with another video. We've gotta tell you, just researching these terrifying extinct animals made us thank our lucky stars that they're not around anymore. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the most disturbing, bone-chilling monsters that have ever walked the planet. Monsters you'll be sure to think about when you close your eyes tonight. Get ready for some of the most fearsome predators this Earth has ever seen. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming uploads. Mega Piranha. If the name of this thing doesn't clue you into the fact that it's good that it is extinct, let us tell you a little more about it. The Mega Piranha was around about 8 to 10 million years ago in the late Miocene and was found in rivers in South America. That's where most regular old piranhas are found today. It grew to roughly 28 inches long, and it's thought to be a transitional form between the Paku and the piranhas of today. This is due to its mouth, which is observed in the holotype that's made up of only pre-maxillae, a small pair of cranial bone at the tip of the upper jaw, and a row of zigzagged teeth. It's thought to have been able to bite with a force between 279 and 1,000 pounds. It was huge, and if it were still here, it would probably keep us all out of the water. Megalodon. You know that it's a good thing that a shark whose name means Big Tooth isn't around anymore, even before hearing anything else about it. This gigantic and terrifying shark swam the Earth's waters between the early Miocene and the late Pliocene. That means it lived a long time, between 23 and 2.6 million years ago, and it was once thought to be a close relative of the great white shark. It was one of the most powerful, not to mention largest predators ever, and fossils indicate that they typically grew to around 34 feet long. But that's not the largest they could become. The maximum length thought to be achieved by the megalodon was 59 feet. Pair that with its bite force of 25 to 40,000 pounds per square inch, and you've got one terrifying creature. Liviatin. This terrifying creature's full scientific name is Liviatin melvilli, and it was named partly after the biblical Leviathan and partly after the author of Moby Dick, Herman Melville. It was a formidable and skilled predator and was around the size of blue whales we see today. It measured 44 to 57 feet, and it had the largest functional teeth in history, measuring an incredible 12 inches and larger. It also lived at the same time as the last predator on this list, the Megalodon, in the Miocene Epoch around 13 million years ago. There is even evidence that seems to suggest that the two may have competed for the same prey. Andrew Sarkis. Of course, this next freaky, strong-looking thing would be found near Inner Mongolia in China. Where else? It was around in the Eocene Epoch, around 35 to 45 million years ago, and only one skull has been found to indicate that such an animal even existed. The skull was discovered way back in 1923 when the American Museum of Natural History made multiple expeditions to Asia to see what they could find. It was found by Kan Chuen Pao, a paleontological assistant in the Iridan Mana Formation. It's widely considered to be the largest largest predatory mammal to grace the earth, what with its long head being around three feet long. It looks powerful, and it probably was, and we're sure glad we don't have to walk the streets knowing that these things exist somewhere in the world. Sarcosuchus. The name of this thing makes it sound pretty freaky when you translate it. Flesh crocodile is what Sarcosuchus means, and it's a distant relative of the crocodilians of today. It was around roughly 112 million years ago during the early Cretaceous period in what is today South America and Africa. These things were about twice as long as the crocodiles we see now, about 36 to 39 feet in length, making them some of the biggest crocodile-like reptiles that have ever walked the planet. They weighed in at about 8.8 .8 tons, which is about the weight of three to four cars, depending on the make and model. One disadvantage it did have, it's believed that these massive crocodiles were unable to perform the death roll of crocodiles of today. But these things preyed on fairly large dinosaurs, so be happy that they went extinct when they did. Helicoprion. If you are looking to find a strange-looking creature that seems more meant for science fiction than the real world on this list, this would be it. The Helicoprion was a eugeniodontid holocephalid fish that was very shark-like, but with a significant cosmetic difference. In nearly every fossilized specimen of this creature is what is called a tooth whorl, or a spirally arranged cluster of teeth. The thing is, almost all other parts of the fish have not been preserved in the fossil record, so scientists can only guess at what the rest of the fish looked like. It lived around 290 million years ago in the early Permian period in oceans around Australia, Eastern Europe, Asia, and North America. 
They are thought to have been able to grow up to 39 feet long, and a tooth whorl was found in Idaho in the 1980s that in real life would have measured 24 inches in length. Gigantopithecus. This extinct creature is pretty cute, and as of now, the fossil record indicates that it could be the largest primate ever to walk the Earth. It's believed to have been around some 9 million years ago, and may have lasted all the way up to 100,000 years ago. If we had been around back then, we'd have found them in what is Indonesia, China, Vietnam, and India today. Many say they stood a towering 9.8 feet tall, however, others argue that they were smaller than that, about the size of an average human male, between 5'9 and 6'6. There's also a debate on how much the Gigantopithecus weighed. Some believe it was between 1,100 and 1,300 pounds, and others say it only weighed between 4 to 600 pounds. Either way, this was one giant beast of a primate, and it's a good thing we don't have to coexist with it because we'd probably be the ones put in cages. Pulmonoscorpius. This super freaky, extremely creepy critter is a giant scorpion that lived between 346 and 330 million years ago. It roamed in the Carboniferous period during the Visean Age, and the fossils we have to study were found at the East Kirkton Quarry, West Lothian, in Scotland back in 1994. Now, we're all nervous around the scorpions of today, so imagine living alongside ones that grew to be more than two feet long. It's believed that it made meals of small arthropods, and that its sting may have been capable of taking down small tetrapods. And we thought today's scorpions were bad. Camaroceras. This sea creature's name means chambered horn, and it lived during the Ordovician period, some 485 to 443 million years ago. It was a giant orthoconic cephalopod that swam in the shallow waters near Baltica, Siberia, and Laurentia. Since it was a cephalopod, it fell into the same group of mollusks that includes squid, cuttlefish, and octopuses. Inferences can be made about its appearance, and it seems as though scientists believe it looked much like a squid. It's also thought that it would use its tentacles to subdue prey, and that it would have then used the beak near the base of the tentacles to bite into the bodies of its victims. A tongue-like toothed radula would then enter the unfortunate prey and pull out the soft tissue. Sounds like a problem best left in the past. Forest Rassidae. When something is colloquially known as terror bird, you know that it's best for it to have gone extinct before our time on the planet. They were a flightless species of bird, much like the ostriches of today, but they were bigger. Much, much bigger. The Forest Rassidae was around between 62 and 1.8 million years ago, during the Cenozoic era in South America, where they were the largest species of apex predator around. This animal stood between 3 feet 3 inches and 9 feet 10 inches tall, and it's believed the animal would stretch to its full height before slamming its head down onto prey to deliver a fatal blow. There are relatively new findings from Uruguay that suggest the forest racidae may have survived until more recently than initially thought, somewhere between just 17,000 years ago. Mosasaurus. We wouldn't have wanted to deal with a giant predatorial aquatic lizard, and that's precisely what the Mosasaurus was. So it's a good thing it went extinct millions of years ago. It lived approximately 70 to 66 million years ago in the late Cretaceous period during the Maastrichtian Age in both North America and Europe. The first specimen of said reptilian creature was found near the Meuse River, which is why its name means Lizard of the Meuse River or Meuse Lizard. Mosasauruses were thought to grow to be around 56 feet in length and live near the ocean's surface due to their poor eyesight. They preyed on smaller mosasaurs, turtles, fish, pterosaurs, birds, and plesiosaurs. Sounds like a lizard creature we're better off without. Titanoboa. This huge, slithery creature once lived in what is today La Guajira in the northeastern part of Colombia. It was a giant genus of snake that could reach lengths of 42 feet and could weigh a crazy 2,500 pounds. It thrived in the middle to late Paleocene epoch, roughly 58 to 60 million years ago, just after the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. Scientists believe that very large turtles and crocodilomorpha, with whom it shared habitats, probably would have served as prey for this gigantic snake. The thing ate dinosaurs and the oversized ancestors of crocodiles, so we don't really need to say much more here. We have seen some intense and terrifying extinct animals so far, and we still have one more to go. But first, we'd like to ask you, do you think we, humans, would have survived as long as we have with all of these skilled predators and giant beasts roaming around? Let us know your theories in the comments below. Capro Capro-sucus. Would you have wanted to mess with a giant 
crocodiliform whose name literally translates to boar crocodile? We didn't think so. Only one single nearly intact skull proving this thing even existed has been found, and it was located in Niger inside the Upper Cretaceous Eckar Formation. The skull itself measured 19.9 inches, but the lower jaw was jaw-droppingly measured at 23 inches. It's estimated that in total, the animal reached 19.7 feet long, and it had horns and tusks, which isn't even seen in any other crocodiliform. It's believed to have hunted mostly, if not wholly, on land, and probably rammed prey with its strong snout before using extremely powerful jaws to take care of business. 